and we're back for PSL Boys 3A Championship action between number four, Epic South from Queens, and number three, Brooklyn Lawn Tech from Brooklyn. This is the voice of Sage Media, Greg Polis, here with my partner, Shaq Mitchell. Last and final game of the weekend, Shaq. Man, probably might be the, it could have poten had potential to be the best game, you know. Absolutely. Brooklyn Lawn Tech girls just handle business. You know the Brooklyn Lawn Tech Jets are looking to handle and, and, and follow suit. We're on the way, man. Epic South wins the tip. As Daniel Ogunle. Ogunle at. Drives. Guarded by Siani Arthur. Dior Lagore loses it. And a good follow right there by Jael Moore. Jael Moore being that garbage man, that extra energy guy right there for the offensive putback. Um, and his leading scorer, Siani Arthur, the crafty ball handler in the corner. Extra pass, in and out. Rebound Moore. It's going to get to the, get you to jet start in five in just a moment. Great defense right there from Dew. Good closeout. That's Keyshaw Murray who got the rebound for the Jets. Spins and connects. Jeffrey Franklin right, Jr. right there with Pretty the little, turnaround jumper. Pretty little move right there. Spun got the defender off him and just rolls up. Knocks one in. Joshua Lewis to the 10. Can't hit. Rebound Kyle Dew. In the corner to Franklin. Back out to Murray in the corner. Franklin, short. And that's going to be an offensive foul Absolutely. on Keyshawn Murray. Murray lowered his shoulder right there. And Lewis was able to be right there for the charge. Interested to see how Daniel Ogunle plays today. He had a huge Final Four game to punch and the, the Jaguars' ticket to this championship game. A huge upset over number one, Murray Bertram for Epic South to get find themselves in this championship game. Good move inside. Too strong off the glass. Rebound due. Siani finishes at the rim. What a finish right there from Siani Arthur. Not afraid of the moment. Rising right above the defense for the nice lay. As Jamel Scott... One of the leading scorers for this Epic South Jaguar team. And, oh, they're going to call offensive. I thought I saw the ref's hand almost go down right there, Shaq. Would have questioned it. I would have still gave it the same energy, but I would have questioned it. I after. thought he gave him the end one right there, but great defense. Make great jobs by the ref getting that call right. Great defense from Kashaw Murray. So rounding out the starting five for the Jets is number 10, Karan Whitehead. Siani getting shifty to Franklin and a corner to do. Guarded by Scott. Franklin with the soft touch in the paint. Right now, the Jets just look like the aggressors right now. Jeffrey Franklin just making his dribble take him somewhere, getting to his spots, getting his, getting his teammates involved and being ready to score when, he, when his number's called. Lagore inside. And that was Jael Moore foul. He's going to go to the line shooting too. So, fun fact about Epic South. This is their return trip to the finals last year after taking a loss to Transit. So, Coach Mike and his guys want that get back. Absolutely. You know. But they are up for a tall task with this high-flying offense from Lawn Tech. And as we're talking about championships here, in talking to Coach Levy, six years to this day, Law and Tech were A division champions. Wow. Wow. Is that a premonition? I don't know. Man, I'm not so I'm not trying to jinx it. I'm not throwing it out there. Sister, I'm it, just saying it's a fact. It's a case for so it sounds like two a, one case is it's redemption in mind. As a you know, coming up short as the Epic South Jaguars did with the with Transit Tech Express. But Frank the Williams. other side sounds like history might repeat itself. Definitely. Rebound Lewis. Ogunle 
Way too too high, high, out of bounds. Way too high. There's no seven-footers down there. He's got to <laughs> make that a little bit lower. Are there any seven-footers in the PSL? I don't think they are. Maybe. There might be. Maybe a couple? He's not out there now. So. <laughs> <laughs> Siani, stop and pop. Connects. And Man. if it's one thing Siani can do is shoot. That mid-range jumper is beautiful. He's straight up, straight down. Shoot, shoulder squared. Textbook. Good rebound right there. Oh, man. Can't finish, though. It's going to be a foul. That was a good rebound by Moore, but couldn't quite corral it. Yep, the Jets are the first people to the basketball right now. Jaguars seem a little asleep Lewis right now. Lewis with two quick fouls. Oh, yeah, that's As he big. comes out and energy. Devontae Ward comes in. Lewis is their energy guy. So definitely want to look for it, look to how, see how the Jets exploit that loss. Do. To Franklin. Whitehead loses it, gets it back. Back to a cut. Dude can't handle it. Stolen by Agunle. Man, just couldn't handle the pass. Missed opportunity right there for the Jets. Air ball from Scott. Picked up by Murray. Murray in the corner. Franklin wide open for three. In and out. Crowd ready for it. Good rebound right there. From Dior Lagore. And even better defense on both sides, actually. Ogunle trying to set up the offense, guarded by Duke. Jag was trying to get into this five point lead. And a corner. Franklin comes up to the loose ball. Siani for three. Whitehead, good rebound on the weak side, but taken away by Lagore. Gets down front to Scott. Can't finish. Franklin pushing the pace. Gets it inside to Murray. Sloppy play right here early on, and... What do we say, Shaq? It's the foul process. Feeling out process right now, but I feel like the Jaguars seem like a jolt of energy right now. That's going to be they a travel. Seem, like, as as Ogunlier's called travel right there, it just seems like they need like a shot of energy right now. It doesn't, I don't know, they're not there sleep. The Jets seem like the ones that are just faster to the ball. They haven't quite, you know, figured out, like you said, in that figuring out process, they haven't figured out how to score consistently yet, but they just seem like they're in that championship mode right now. I need That's, the Jaguars to wake up. I don't disagree with you, Shaq, right there. Marquise Lloyd, number 15, checking in for Epic South. And that's number 23, Jabari Peterson for the Jets. Along with number one, Abdul Diallo. Abdul Diallo. Can't finish. Siani gets the offensive rebound. Hey, the pretty scooping score. Siani Arthur. Time it's out. in attack right now. Timeout for the Jaguar. But Arthur, man, that is what you want from your best player. Your player that's hitting all the threes for you. Averaging 19 on the season. Big star player. Want to take this time out to appreciate all of you fans who are tuned in to the Sage Media live stream. Most 260 fans. This live stream is brought to you by Sage Media Solutions for all sport live broadcast inquiries. Please reach out to at Sage Media Solutions on all social media platforms. As the Jets are, Jaguars are about to get let out of their timeout, I just feel that they've got to, you know, maybe – have some offense run to Ogulier, have some offense run or They have pieces out there that can, that can really score at high levels. They have pieces. 
Got to look to incorporate them all. Epic South walking it up. Long taking a 2 3. Kind of a modified 2 3 here. And that's a turnover. Actually, I might, I might have to check that. I think they were playing man looking at it. That's number 10. Paul Peterkin coming in. Siani Arthur looks like he just called his own number. Oh, okay. <laughs> In and out. I don't know what it is with this rim all day. Yeah. This, that was Amari McCammon on a miss for Lawn Tech. Epic's out to the full goal press. Diallo does a great job breaking it on a pass. Luciani gets it in the corner. And that's going to be a travel Snipes by Jeremiah called. Snipes. Snipes got called for steps right there. If, if, it's, if it's anything, the Jets are deep. They have a very deep bench. Absolutely. They got players, and that's that proves to be big when you – you know, you may have players in foul trouble or anything like that. That shows big in, in, in playoff time. Marquise Lloyd calling out the play, guarded by Arthur at the top of the key. Poked away, Arthur gets a steal. And he finishes over Lloyd. What a finish right there through contact. Showing off his fearless finisher badge. LaGore going up, returns. Says anything you can do, I can do better. Christian Dior, Dior. His name's Lagor, though. Lagor, what a it's response! Gonna, that's gonna be a. Looks like a. And Lagor's gonna need more of that. That's gonna be a foul by Jabari Peterson. Loose ball foul. Jaguars are gonna need some more of that from Lagor. Absolutely. A response right there. Scott, and he's right fouled. Looks like Snipes took a shot to the face right there, too. Jael Moore coming back in for Epic South. Eighteen seconds left in the first quarter. Epic and one. Not the foul one. Absolutely not. Dior Lagor in attack mode. Flip that switch. Last two buckets by the rim. And one opportunity on the way. Siani coming back in for Jeremiah Snipes. Dior Lagor on the air averaging 12 points, five rebounds, four assists. And up that in the playoffs to 17, 6, and 4. So clearly he's about the big games. Absolutely. Him and him and uh Jamel Scott both had and a all had good great games in that good final. Block play. right there. Six seconds to play. In the front of Lagor for three. Almost bags it home. Oh, Dior going to hit that right there. <laughs> After one quarter play, Jets are up 12-8 on the Jaguars of Epic South. Only a four-point game. And considering how fast-paced the Jets were playing, Epic South only being down four is not a bad thing. Absolutely not. They've had a slow start, but yet they're not out of this game by a long shot. They're only a two-possession game. You know, I think Ugulier started his offense of the Jaguars all the way back into this game, as well as Lagor getting his getting in his bag early, right? I mean, lately, in, late in that first quarter. So, a couple things on the Epic South side. I do think they do they need to get Lagor involved more 
But I would love to see, I don't know, all weekend I've been about the flash to the high post. Love to see one of their bigs flash to the high post if, yeah. if that is indeed a 2-3 zone that the Jets are in. But it looks like it's some type of man zone modification. Yeah, it could be like a man zone type yeah. of. I, I'm going to look out for that. But yeah, if they fully, if they fully commit to a zone, definitely want to run that. Um, so I, I so do many shooters being on the floor for the Jets. I'm not even sure if Epic South is able to run zone. There are a lot. I know. I'm talking floor. about Lawn Tech no, on no, no, defense. No, no, no. I'm just saying on vice versa. If I was Epic South, I would not run zone. Absolutely not. This game will be over very quick. You got Siani Arthur. You got Do. You got a lot of people that hit threes. I don't think it'll be over quickly because physicality matters. But I, I don't think it would be the wisest thing to go zone. I mean, threes add up, and you don't want to give up open threes. There's a lot of those. In Peterson gets it to Franklin. Murray. Back to Franklin. I think if Franklin, once Franklin was in the air, yeah. go up with it. Definitely. You know, the, what's the rule, Shaq? Definitely. We're in the air, make a move. Jump stop, though, right there. No passes in the air. Absolutely uh, I guess it was deflected. Siani to inbound. Two. Gets to Arthur. Arthur pulls it back in the corner to Franklin. By Moore. Step back, thought about it. Gets to Franklin. And that's a great, great defensive possession by Epic South. Great defense right and here. The key to that possession, there was communication throughout the entire possession. Anytime moved around, you see them passing each other off. Defensive intensity right there. Nobody was able nobody nobody on the Jets on that possession felt comfortable to have the basketball. They looked, they looked, they they searched and the Jaguars were able to turn over right there. Got on the wing, guarded by Arthur. Gets into the high post. Blocked by Duke. Yes. Ward gets his own rebound. Back up to LaGore at the top of the key. Stop looking for room to operate. Crossover. Heck. Oh, Good rebound right there by Murray. Tough shot, but right there. Not necessarily a high percentage shot by Scott. Love to see more motion from Epic South on offense. Franklin gets it to Duke for three. Boom! Doing his thing, Kyle Du. First three of the game. Du, good hands on defense, right? He's going to stay the same way. That, that's going to be a quick way for the Jaguars to get out of this game. As the Jets lead Blue to seven. Those threes can definitely add up. McCammon coming in for the Jets. from Arthur right there. What Ogulier. What a take by Ogulier. What a play right there from Ogulier. Willed that one in there. He was getting hounded by Arthur. And honestly, could have been a foul either way. A little That's bit of push off, a little bit of shove back. So yeah. I'm happy with the no call. Absolutely. I'm, I'm loving this let him play approach the refs have, have come, come, come on support with today. So then he's going to earn the championship. Murray guard by Lagarde. Use the Peterson screen to get up and under. Can't hit. Hot potato. Fuck around. By Moore. Gets it out to Ward. Lagore for three. Boom! And just like that, it's a new ball game. Lagore has finally stepped into his bag. He's in rhythm now. Two layups and one opportunity on the second. Right there, knocking down a three ball. And they're going to get Peterson on a moving pick. And this run is all through a play of Labor and Ogulier. Two players that helped them get the last victory. And I think they needed to go with what go to, go back to what worked. Now, uh, now, exactly. And Alperon Whitehead about to check in right before Coach Levy took a 30-second timeout. So we know that Lawn Tech score, scoring in an eye. That's how you end up with 3,000-point scorers on your team. Kyle Duke.
Keyshaw Murray and Sarani and Sayani are the point scorers for Brooklyn Lawn Tech. Shout out to those young men for achieving that. Absolutely. When it's uh, players, you know, type of, I'm very different, you know, and that, and, you know, people see that. See that on the stat sheet, so, you know, I mean, those players definitely be huge the Jets of Brooklyn. Just about 5.40 to go in the first half. Ogunle guarded by Arthur, top of the key. Looking for Lagore. Back to Ogunle. Looking inside. Trying to get it entry to pass. Moore. Stays the same way. Great defense. Post defense right there from Murray. Did he let him catch it, but he didn't let Moore do anything else with it. Good hands by Du. Showing off the athleticism on the inbound play. Then running it up the court for three. Oh! He gets the shooter's touch. McCammon. McCammon. Splashing, finding, the ring, finding his range from three. What a move from LaGore. <laughs> that was a pretty move by LaGore. Could have finished, but that's going to be a jump ball. Fight for it under there. Vontae Ward is a hustler. He's definitely you know, making a lot of hustle plays last game in that Final Four as well. That's Jamel Scott coming in for your LaGore. He's Lloyd in for the Jaguars of Epic South. It will be a shoelace timeout. <laughs> and here we go, folks. Ogun later inbound. Gets it out to Scott for three. Hand in his face. Back off the back iron. Good follow and one. Marquise Lloyd skying for the offensive rebound and finishing in one fell swoop. Shot goes up. Jets get lazy. Marquise Lloyd, first one to the pill, knows exactly what to do with it off the offensive rebound. He gets an one opportunity. And that's what the Jets can't do. Their lead has gone away because they've lowered their intensity while the Jaguars' intensity has raised. They're looking, now they're down just two. As Lloyd completes the two three point play. Siani gets it to Whitehead. To McCammon in the corner. Boom! That's a press break right there, folks. Same shot, same spot. Amari McCammon getting comfortable in here. Second three pointer of the half. Ogunle slowing it down. Guarded by Arthur. Looking for the screen. Ahead. Great defense by Whitehead. That's going to be a kick ball. For those of you. I'm not even sure. So, Shaq and I both have certain issues with certain calls. <laughs> Me, I hate the possession arrow. I think it's foolish. Yes. I think it should be jump balls. Shaq hates kick balls. I vehemently disagree with him. <laughs> so. No, I just hate when they call a kick ball when. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I hate the call. <laughs> Ch choke it up for the good guy. For three. And that's going to be an over the back. It's going to stay here. That's a great box out. Wait. He just pointed here. I did I, I, I did see that, right? Ref's hands motions can be very confusing at times. Okay. My apologies. <laughs> uh, uh, apologies because clearly I read the ref's hand signals wrong. So that's my apologies, folks. It's Lawn Tech's ball. Yeah, a couple of plays for the Jaguars have gotten them back into this game. Let's see how, and I was just about to say, let's see how this Epic South press affects Lawn Tech. Yeah, Arthur's got to stay in the backcourt and provide a lane for Whitehead to give, get him that basketball. Whitehead couldn't really see Arthur, and Warren for the, that's the reason for that too high pass. Take 
Stop and pop. Pretty move right there from Dior Lagore. Dior, Dior. Knocking one down behind the double with a nice behind the back move. Siani drives. Gets in the corner to do. Please. In and out. Rebound Lloyd. Gets it out in front to Lagore. Great body control. And Lloyd comes up with it. He finishes in traffic. Timeout, Jets. The Jets have completely fell apart, and the momentum has swung in the Jaguars' favor. Look behind the play of Lagor, and behind the play of OBA. So, Scott, now, I, don't, Floyd, I, apologize. I don't say this often, Shaq, but I think these next three minutes and 24 seconds in this half will determine the game. Uh, it's a little soon. Nah, here's why. Momentum matters. It does. And if Epic South is able to rip the momentum from Law and Tech's hands, I think they can take that in the second half. However, Law and Tech's shooting ability may be able to squash that, right. but I do think the mental and emotional part of it will be tougher to come back from if they somehow turn this into a big league going into the half. Absolutely. Jaguars are able to go on like an 8 to 10 on run, something like that, something crazy that could mess with the confidence of the Jets for the Brooklyn Law and Tech. But I think they have shooting to combat uh, at the league getting out here. Dude, guarded by Lloyd on the wing. I like this matchup. Siani uses the dude screen, loses it, and they're going to get. They're gonna get Lloyd on the on yeah. the foul. He reached in. Siani Arthur can just get to any spot on the court he wants. So shifty. Absolutely. Dude, foul line extended. Can't hit the jump shot. It's gonna stay the same way. Did you see Lagore flying in there? Absolutely. <laughs> He's. He's a menace on the on the off, um, rebounding department. Averaging a little a little over six rebounds a game. Murray back in the game, spins, and traffic, high off the glass, can't hit. Lloyd with the rebound. And there's a tap from Lagore right there to secure the rebound. That's a jump ball. That's great defense right there. That's why you can't pick up your dribble in the middle of a press. Absolutely, because it's literally a trap uh, and it results in a turnover. Lloyd, Lloyd comes hurt. up lame. As they're going to take a look at him. You know, Boulier is going to check in for him. Hopefully Lloyd's all right. And Jaguar, if you're the Jaguars, you got to be happy right now because you had a slow start to this game and you look up at that scoreboard and you're only down one point. Absolutely, 100% Shaq. I said it before, they were not out of this game. They have the athletes to compete. Good defense right there. Siani comes away with the loose ball. From deep, air ball. One thing both teams have to do that they're not doing is box out. They're relying on their athleticism and the rebounding department, and that could only work for but so long. Absolutely. You're going to have to work if you want yourself a championship. And doing the little things like boxing out, being the first to the loose ball, that's going to help players. That's going to help them win this game and catch back up. Lagore. Scott looking for the screen. Dribbles into the paint, scoops, and he's fouled. He's going to go to the line shooting, too. Man, those bleachers are out kind of far on those yeah. stairs. That's kind of dangerous. I got real scared yesterday with Mariano Mateo. He, he must have fell like 50 times yesterday, so close to those stairs. But these players are really getting after it.
I guess this was just a stinger for Lloyd because he's right back at the table. Can't hit on the first. Jamel Scott on the year averaging 11, 4, and, four and 3 during the regular season. Had in the playoffs averaging 13. Second, Lloyd coming back in. Tie ball game. Just about two minutes ago in the first half. Cross court. Good job by Murray grabbing that out of the air. Gets to McCammon. Lloyd needs to have a hand up when she's guarding Siani. Sending two different bodies. Good job getting it to Murray down low. He goes up. I thought there was contact there. Absolutely. Murray gets sent away. And now they're finally going to get a foul call. Like you said, nobody is bossing out on either side. Multiple second chance opportunities right there. A lot of, team, a lot of players got a chance to, to, to get a, a shot of tempo on that. It's like taps. Man. One team, I feel like the team that controls the glass this game will, will control the game. Multiple rebounds on both sides of the court. As Karam misses the first one. Notice that the Lawn Tech Jets are all the way back as they do not want to give up an easy bucket. No, they don't. Minute and a half left. They, they, want, they might want to go into this, this half. They should be trying to go into this half with the lead. Splits a pair at the line for Whitehead. Ari right, Peterson checking in for the Jets. Ogunle uses the ward screen. And gets hounded. Gets it to Lagore. Lagore drives. Oh, I thought he was about to throw it. Dior Lagore. He went up with bad intentions and finished the layup. Dior Lagore with a rack attack. Put his team up one. Murray. Gets it back to Siani. Drives. He's fouled. I actually thought Siani kind of used his forearm to, to gain some space right yeah. there. Before he threw the shot up. Page out of James Harden book. Yeah. <laughs> Using it to probably protect himself, obviously, but definitely got away with an extension on that drive to the basket. Nonetheless, he's at the foul line for a pair. Siani on the season, averaging 19.6 assists, two boards. He misses the first. This, this, this team's leading scorer. Wow, really getting into it. <laughs> we haven't seen it this way where it's the crowd on one side, cheerleaders on the other. Yes, yeah, it's a different format. Tie, tie game. Under one minute to go in the first half. Ward inside. Beautiful move. Strong move from Ward. Going right through his defender on the way to the basket. Murray. Picks up his dribble. Almost stolen. Murray has to be careful right there. Due for three. Off the side rim. Diallo comes away with the loose ball. Stolen. He does stay. Epic South ball. Yeah, poor possession right there. Thought they could have got a bucket off of that. Missed opportunity for the Jets. As Snipes comes in for Keyshawn Murray. And Jamel Scott's going to come in for, come in for McKees Floyd. Nice substitution right here. I think it's a good substitution. You want Scott on the floor right now, possibly take the preserve your lead or go up an extra possession. Jaguars up two points, looking to hold for the last shot. Shot clock is turned off. 
Diallo guarded Ogunle. Drives, gets to the paint. Right hand finish, can't make it. Loose ball, Diallo comes away with it. It's gonna be epic South ball. They get the timeout right there? I don't, I don't think it's a timeout. Two seconds is enough time to get a shot off. Absolutely. As Ja'Kai Sanders. <laughs> Into traffic. Great, the ball denial from Jeremiah Snipes. And after one half of play in a seesaw, high paced affair, the Jaguars of Epic South are up 25 to 23 on the three seated Lawn Tech Jets. For my partner Shaq Mitchell, this is the voice of Sage Media, Greg Polius. We're going to see you in the second half.
Welcome back to Boys 3A Championship Play here at LIU, where we have the Epic South Jaguars up 25 to 23 over the Brooklyn Lawn Tech Jets. This is the voice of Sage Media. Greg Polis here with my partner Shaq Mitchell. Shaq, we saw the Lawn Tech Jets look like they were shot out of a cannon in that first quarter. Running up and down, hitting threes, and they got out to what well, was a seven or eight point lead, and then all of a sudden it was gone. Absolutely. It was a tale of two quarters, right? What do you think happened? Literally a tale of two quarters. Brooklyn Lawrence Tech Jets fired out of a cannon in that first quarter. The Jaguars stepping into their championship DNA that they used to get all the way here. Um, so what you do, what you'll do now is that you go off of your best quarters or the, the times when you've held the lead or the times you've looked your best. So I also think Epic South slowed them down and played half court basketball, which did not allow them to get out and run their shots inside in the paint. Jets kind of got away from it. It was getting them the wins. They didn't really, they fell up with that three-pointer. But I'm, I'm telling you why it happened. <laughs> I'm telling you. After I think South was down. I don't agree. I think this don't, every team doesn't know how to play with the lead. You get what I'm saying? So a lot of times when a team looks up to that scoreboard and sees they're up double digits or closing in on a double digits, they, they play a different way. They don't play a way where they were, they were hustling loose balls. They were getting into their spots. They weren't playing. It's a different approach. Also, the man defense in the second quarter from uh, uh, Epic South improved vastly, and it, show, it shows in the score. So let me ask you a question, Shaq. Both teams had some shaky play, you know, in the yeah. first half. Do you think nerves are in play? Well, absolutely now. I mean, the, the you know, Brooklyn Epic South Jaguars, you know, bringing up their intensity – had changing the, the, this cloth of the game, the lead isn't as high as it was. Definitely, some nerves start to creep in. I don't think it's nerves, Shaq. I don't think it's nerves. Both these teams have championship pedigree, as Epic South was here last year. The Jets, I mean, obviously haven't won a championship in six years, but they are championship pedigree program. Right. You know. Um, also, before we get action started, want to shout out a notable. Law and Tech alumni, Larry Moreno, played at St. Francis, D1 St. Francis University, also known as Trick Shot Larry, gone viral on several occasions <laughs> on social media and a member of the 2,000-point scorers club Man. at Law and Tech. So shout out Larry Moreno. Man. Trick Shot Larry. And we're underway. 16 minutes before we crown a 3A champion. I got it right this time. Yeah. <laughs> Franklin guarded by Lewis top of the key gets the Arthur quick release short rebound Moore it looks like that's going to be Murray on the foul yep Keyshaw Murray gets tagged with that foul and the Jets come right out and run something for Cyanne Arthur he can't quite hit but I like that play that they drew up. Got him a nice look. Ogunle on the wing, guarded by Arthur. Gets a screen from Moore, from Lewis. Scott trying to get in the post. Lagore in and out. Rebound Lewis. Goes up and finishes. That was a good job flashing to the high post Absolutely. by Lagore, and a good job, even better job by Lewis cleaning up the trash. Yeah, Joshua Lewis is That's their the garbage speech, guys. I wasn't calling him trash, by the way. Franklin, good move. Can't finish. Lewis being a menace on the boards early in his third quarter. Stop and pop from Ogunle. In and out. Something about this rim, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's not been kind to the teams today. Too strong off the glass. Arthur with the rebound. Looking to push the pace. Almost loses it. Out of control. Gets in the what corner to do. Good rebound, Murray. 
and he gets the finish over the outstretched arms of Moore. Athletic move to the basket. Murray finishing through contact. Good move right there, a little jump hook from Jamel Lewis. I'm sorry, Joshua Lewis. <laughs> Jamel Lewis would be my co-worker. <laughs> to Whitehead in the corner, Franklin. Back out to Murray, guarded by Lagore. If you notice, these guards are trying to penetrate, and there's somebody in there to meet him. Absolutely. Every Whitehead. time. Franklin drives. Wild shot, and Murray gets the follow. Man. His energy has been huge for the Jets. Another follow there for Murray. Good weak side rebound by Murray. And even better job by Whitehead stepping in front of that entry pass into the post. Arthur looking to take Lagor off the dribble. Boom! Arthur to Franklin. And Franklin Jr. And Staying I, ready so he doesn't got to get ready. Siani Arthur finds him in the corner. He knocks one down from three. That was my apologies. I said uh, Lagore. It was a good lay on defense on that last possession. But see that play right there. A ball just went over a guy's foot. But they didn't call a kickball. But they didn't call a kickball because it was not deliberately kicked. You right. Stick your foot out. Then no, but I've seen ball. that call called when the full ball just hits the foot. It's terrible. It's terrible. They just got to put it on I the list with your jump ball. I don't feel as strongly as They got to put it on the list with your jump ball. It has to happen. <laughs> I'm making a submission. We go to the competition committee? <laughs> we have to go. I'm running a full flood. Blocked. <laughs> and he's fouled. Lewis and Moore just relentless inside. They don't quit. They're always there inside work, and you're going to have to put a body on both players. That was Jabari, Jabari Peterson on the block. I don't know, Shaq. But it looks like Epic South is running their sets and slowing the pace down and not allowing uh, Law & Tech to run, get out and run. Yeah, that's now, now I can see what you're saying in terms of the pace of the game. The game isn't at the, the, the pace that Jets want it right now. L allow me, subject to change. Allow me to make a 4A comp. And I'm not talking about the team itself or the talent. I'm just talking about the style of offense. Mm -hmm. And this is very South Shore-esque. Yes. We don't want you to get out and run on us. We're going to play our half-court game yep. and beat you into submission. Absolutely. And that's going to be over the back. That's a great yeah. box out by Murray. Great box out for Murray. Lagor tried everything to get to that basket. Ref got him on the over the back. But, yes, definitely, you know, it's power in being able to control the pace and the glass. So I thought that you know, the first team to be able to control the, the glass was going to control the game, but it seems that the team that's controlling the pace has the momentum right now. That's a good observation, Shaq. Franklin gets it to the high post. Arthur almost loses it, and he does. Moulier right there for the steal. Dribbles through two. Gets it in the corner. Lagor for three. That's going to stay the same way. Good Moore play. and Lewis are absolutely dominating inside, and I don't mean just on the board, just in th their presence in this quarter, in this quarter. Definitely. I think that was a missed opportunity right there. For the Boom! But Scott <laughs> getting it back for, the, for the, the, the Jaguars. He knocks down a three of his own. He's been quiet today, but hopefully that's a good sign. Oh. Do inside to Murray. M Murray has to be careful not to get called for a palming violation. Goes back up with it. Um, out of contact right there. So, I'm gonna say it. The the block was clean, but he was absolutely mauled after, after the block. <laughs> <laughs> the initial block, yes. That after anything after that, he definitely should be shooting free throws right now. Refs are giving a little let it play approach. <laughs> Devontae Ward back in for more on the Jaguar side. As McCammon driving to the basket, gets it back to Arthur. Thought about it. Good job closing out Arthur on the three point line. Franklin drives in the paint. 
Wow. That counted and the foul. Wow. Jeffrey Franklin just turned the corner right up Lagor's chest. Took the contact, finished strong. Chance for one more at the line. What do we say? He went up with bad intentions. Bad intentions. I thought he was going to slam one. Still was able to will that one in. Harry Peterson comes back in. Can't finish there in one opportunity. Agunle controlling the pace. Gets the Lagor on the wing. As Lewis spins, loses it. Murray comes up with the steal. Tie game. Jump to three. 50 to go. Stop and pop for Murray. Rims in and out. Nice Jamel move Scott for with the rebound. Behind the back. Pretty move. Can't finish. Franklin with the rebound. And here comes the Jets out and running. That's going to be a charge. As Devontae Ward was set up and waiting. Great defense right there. Ward getting back into the play. Refs had no choice. Did they say fourth foul fourth on Jabari? Fourth foul on that, Jabari Peterson. That's big, and he goes back to the bench as McCammon comes back in. That's where that depth for the Jets come into play. play times like players in foul trouble, they have other resources. Ogunle drives. He's blocked. McCammon gets it to Murray. Murray crosses the timeline. In the corner to Franklin. Back up top to, to with a hand in his face. In and out. Crowd was ready for that. He's going to skip away. There's the Lawn Tech crowd starting to get loud. Yes, there's definitely the energy's picked up in here. They, they see, see this game getting close at the end. Dude spins, gets to Arthur, uses the dog right now. Keeping the pace, run, out running this team. Don't allow Epic South to dictate the pace of play. Absolutely. They've slowed this game down. It hasn't shown to be a too big of a lead, but they just seem like they're in control of this game. And I, here's what I think is happening, right? I think the, the, uh, the Lawn Tech guards are a little quicker than the Epic South guards, but the bigs on Epic South are more athletic. On Law and Tech, and you kind of see a different take here I in this agree. third quarter. Law and Tech's have shooting, dribbling, you know, ball handling. Epic South has more of the gritty, grittier players. Yes. Uh, Franklin has to watch that push off. Murray brings it back out, guarded by Agunle. Arthur from deep. Murray's fouled. You saw Murray is an energizer bunny. He never stops working. He never stops trying to get an extra opportunity for his team right there. He's in the mix at the right place, right time. Offensive rebound. He earns himself a trip to the lawn. I'll, I'll tell you what. This is going to be an issue into the fourth quarter. How many times have we seen the ball go off the rim and there's 12 hands Absolutely. instead of Clearing a body out. Absolutely. Boxing out has to be the main topic in these timeouts and these breaks with these coaches. Rebounding will prove to be huge. They had Lagor on a skip pass. Oh, my goodness. Devontae Ward. I know I said bad intentions already, but clearly yeah. he had those in mind. <laughs> and he, he gets the hard layup. <laughs> what a play right there from Ward. Dude, inside. Pretty move. From nice bucket from Dew. Getting himself going for the half. Jamel Scott trying to get it inside to Lewis. And he takes the jump shot. And he gets the shooter's touch. Jamel Scott. He's been real quiet lately, but hopefully that's a spark to his offense. He's a huge big-time player for the Jaguars. Teams is trading buckets right now. Dew gets inside but can't finish. Good rebound by Ward. Scott, outlet pass, out front. Ogunle passed up the three. 
in the paint. Gets the bucket to go. That was a nice shot. What well, poise on Daniel Ogunlier. Going inside, realizes he can stop and pull up for the mid-range. And that's going to be a charge on Siani Arthur. Great defense right there. Rotation by Jail Moore. I mean by Joshua Lewis. Right there, slides his feet, accepts the contact, and gets the ball back for his team. Just lying in wait. Like a <laughs> Jaguar lying in <laughs> exactly. wait. I know it was corny, but I couldn't pass it up. No, because you have to – players have tendencies, you know, and – you notice that cop, that that Siani Arthur wants to attack that basket. You got to beat him to the spot. Aiden LeBron in for the first time for the Jets. That foul as, sends Arthur to the bench. Definitely. And you have Diallo and Jeremiah Snipes also on the court for the Jets. Whole different look right here. Lagor almost loses it. Does lose it. He does. Diallo comes up with the steal. Gets to LeBron. Franklin out. Stop it, Pop. LeBron for three. Fight for the ball. That's going to be a jump ball. Man. <laughs> this game is getting scrappy. If you could, you could tell the players are realizing. Let, let me push my chair out so I can <laughs> sit at the edge of it. I already see what's coming. Once you see two guys go to the, the ground with a rebound, it's getting real. <laughs> I'm not even talking about that. I'm just talking about the seesaw effect Absolutely. in the score. Ten seconds left. Epic South is going to hold for the last shot. Lagor with the ball. Hand in his face. And after three quarters of play, the Epic South Jaguars up 41 to 38 in this PSL championship game. Eight minutes till we crown a champion. Man. And who else to, can you watch a, a champion be crowned? But Sage Media. Where else? Nowhere else. Nowhere. Playoffs, baby. <laughs> Playoffs? Shout out to Jim Mora. <laughs> and also shout out to our producer, Andre Johnson, the man behind this all. And it makes it possible at Sage Media Solutions on all social media platforms. Reach out for any inquiries. Man. Andre, I'm going to have to just come up with like 10 different drops preseason next year and just have them on cue. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fair. He's producing me in my ear, telling me I gotta work for my check. I mean, I get it, I get it. But I'm, I'm working. I'm do, working. Do something, Greg. <laughs> I think I have like 17 different iterations <laughs> of that call. So, Shaq, three-point game, eight minutes left. What does each team need to do to come home victorious? Well, the Jaguars have seemed to find something that's clicked. You know, whether it's Lagor, um, they've gotten the the energy on the glass. They have their favor. They, the energy in, on the glass is in their favor. You know, um, you got Jail Moore and Joshua Lewis rebounding anything these these guards take or or, or any shot the Lagor is taking, and you feel more confident when you have that safety net down low. You know that it's not completely over. You know you have somebody down there that can possibly get a rebound and, and go back up and, and give you extra opportunities. So the Jaguars just seem to be playing more confident than the Jets. The Jets have got to get Siani Arthur involved without fouling and get back to knocking down the threes that they once hit in that first half. So I don't disagree with anything. I thought that was spot-on analysis. But I'm going to go a different route with mm -hmm. it. If anybody in the crowd ha is watching this game in the air, I need everybody standing up. <laughs> it's eight minutes left in a three-point game. I need a cheerleader to stand Absolutely. Up. The crowd has got to get into this. Whoever's support system is going to prove to be pivotal tonight. Snipes got the re rebound. I'm sh shot. Missed. Murray got the rebound. Absolutely. And now Arthur controls it. Guarded by Goonley in the corner. Back to Snipes. Pump fakes inside. Good move right there. He gets the bucket. Snipes, one dribble pull up. Being the sniper, knocks one down real quick. Agunle cuts the lead, Lord, drives, runner, and gets the bounce. Gore's been special today, hasn't he? And Just deep. getting to all of his spots, got into his rhythm early, and has put the team on his back. Snipes. Good rebound right there by Lewis. Scott 
Bringing the ball up. Guarded by Murray. Gets to the paint. Wow. Pretty move by Scott, but he can't finish. Can't hit. It's going to stay the same way. Arthur thought that basketball going to go to the Jets, but a little step on action yeah. on, on, on the, the protection of the ball. Absolutely. Kind of cuffed it if you hug the ball, if you will, but Check. protect it. Did you watch Steph Albury play? I got to ask. I know you're a young See one. See some highlights. YouTube, YouTube's <laughs> around. <laughs> Jeez, man. <laughs> Ogunle to Scott. Three. Boom! Big Shot Scott is here. And I like that name for him. Big Shot Scott. He's been hit during this game, but this last couple of minutes, he is his form. Dude with an offensive rebound. Goes up with it. At the roll. Lewis with another key defensive rebound. And Arthur has to be careful. Siani Arthur, that's his third foul. The Jaguars seem to be the first team that's going to go on this run in this fourth quarter. Has, leads Bloom to six. It's imperative that the Jets get a stop here. As you see, they go to a 3 2 zone. Yeah. I'm sorry, I said 3-2. I meant 2-3. I think they're still in still in that man. That zone was actually hurting. High post to Lewis. Spence. Pretty move. What a strong move from Lewis. Lewis is that bag. I've seen him in, in that far final four. Just nothing, nothing easy. Both strong buckets. Jump ball. And here's what I don't want to happen. While we know the good prowess of Lawn Tech is elite, they have elite shooters. Right. You cannot fall in love Absolutely. with three when you're down. And that's what I was earlier, because they didn't fall in love with the three when they were down. They fell in love with the three when they were up, which is, what, which is why the Jaguars have been able to tooth and nail and fight, fight their way back and tooth and nail at point lead. Good defense by Diallo. Yeah. Side to Lewis, and they sent two at him immediately. Jump ball, good defense. I, this is the correct call right there. Absolutely. Let's have had a let him play approach, keeping the same mentality going into this fourth quarter. You're going to have to earn everything to this, 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 these last five minutes. And it gets to the paint. Stop and pop up at the line. Rims in and out. Rebound Lewis. Gets the goon layer. Outlet to Moore. And stolen by Duke. Good hands by Duke. Murray. Dribbles through traffic. Wow. Beautiful scoop hook layup with the left hand. Man, Keyshawn Murray, how good is he? Going to the basket. This time finishing with the left hand. Over the big. Lagore, guarded by McCammon, gets it to Lewis in the high post, can't hit. Gets his own rebound. Lagore, block Bad and foul. a foul. Bad foul from Du. Bad foul from Du right there. He's going to put Jamel Scott on the line, who's already kind of finding his rhythm, getting hot. That's going to get a chance for a pair. Every shot is a big shot from here on out on no both question. sides of the ball. No question. The Jets' confidence has definitely wavered. You can see it in their body language, and they have to wake up and respond quickly before this, while this game is still in reach. I would love to see them run a set play, get go through a couple options, get a bucket. Because... With their, with their ability to score in bunches so fast, seven points is not an insurmountable lead at all. An uh, insurmountable deficit. Not at all. Arthur brings it back out. In the corner, McCammon drives. Do to Arthur. Good extra pass. Short. Rebound McCammon. Back to right Arthur now. inside. 
and he hits. I think he needs to live in that mid-range area. The three-pointers are not falling for him. Arthur's got to understand that and get himself to the basket. He almost shoots that at like a 45-degree angle. Yeah, like he's he kind of lines himself up a little bit. So five-point game, just about four and a half to go. What does Epic South need to do to increase their lead? Uh, I think they need to keep attacking the Jets on the inside. They literally have no answer for Jail Moore. They have no answer for Joshua Lewis. And they've played terrific down low for the Jaguars. This has been an all-around team effort to me for the Jaguars. It's, no been, it's not really been too many standout guys. Everybody is kind of taking a piece of the work and, and, and decided to go get this win team as a unit. Definitely. And no, it's no surprise to me that is in there dominant on the boards. He yeah, averaged double in the regular season and in the postseason. You no, know, 12 and 10. Yeah. What? Well, um, he uh, played huge in the final four. Hold game. on. I think Shaq. If you didn't, you didn't see Marbury play. I know you wouldn't remember his name. But <laughs> Jerome James, the junkyard dog. That's that's what he reminds me. Of. See, <laughs> look, you look at you. You're like, who the hell is that? You gotta you gotta do some more references in the 2000s, Greg. I keep telling you, bro. In the you gotta do some more references in this. Stephon Marbury is like a staple of the 2000s. <laughs> you don't remember the long shorts down Greg, to the ankle? Greg, do you know, when, when the 2000s showed up, I was three. You understand? You're a baby, Shaq. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Jeez. I was three. Like, you know, I told you as a freshman, but you got like, that sink wow. Game. I'm not a Knicks fan, so there's that. You're not a basketball fan? Stephon oh, Marbury wow. didn't only <laughs> Come on, Shaq. Oh, my goodness. All right, we're back Both to that. I'm a true Knicks fan. <laughs> Law Tech coming out with press. Be out of back, sir. Good job. For going for three. And now Lewis gets it. Got away with a push right there on Lewis. Scott's got three. Jamel Scott, Gaziani. Poked away right to LaGore. And a good lay down to more. Yeah, do got him. I was ready to go nuts if that was a block. And like I said, Jair Moore and Joshua Lewis, they're going to be the, the, te the players that finish off this win. If, if the Jaguars are able to hold on, those are going to be the players that guarantee and lock in that win for it. They're doing all of the dirt, and the Jets literally have no answer in terms of rebounding. Connects on the first. Shout out to almost 475 people tuning in to this 3 AMB chip live stream. Coach for, for <laughs> FL Jaguars has not sat down for a second. Good. Oh, I thought that was going to be a, a rebound by Scott. But Jets come away with it. Murray on the wing. Gets the corner to do. Looking for something to go with the ball. Guard Gore. Snipes. Back to do up top. Gets in the paint. Sent away by Gore. What a block from Dior. And Lagore gets it in the court. Hits, hits the layup in traffic. I mean, you can't teach effort. Right now, the Jaguars are just just have more of the effort. They're they're trying they're trying to win this game. They are looking shot right now. Siani, stop and pop. Can't hit. And the hero ball isn't gonna work for the Jets. They've got to be able to move that basketball around, and, and the, bat, the the points have got to come from someone else. Arthur isn't right now. Something just happened that is extremely key coming down the stretch of this game. Tech Jets have picked up their fourth foul. One more, and Epic South will be in the bonus for the game. Absolutely. You got to be careful. Eight right here. You don't want to be able to foul and them on the free throw line for two free throws. Jets in a 1-3-1 full court. Let's see how. And a little bit of a miss can be wanted. The, the streak. They want to give away. 
too many overs like that. As it looks like Arthur was hit on that play, but these young men all out on the court. You don't know, right to tell you don't want to leave that door open. Turnovers silly must definitely a way to do it. Out to do top of the key. Snipes thought about it. Three. Boom! With the hand in his face, it doesn't matter. Kyle Big Duke. time shot. Coming, to, coming through for his team in a just of moments. Epic wants to talk it over. And Kyle Du is definitely the player that I, I thought should have the basketball if it isn't Arthur. He needs a chance to be able to affect this game, to impact this game. Jack, I'm going to go back to it. I have no idea how almost everybody in this sitting down. I mean, not in it's mind boggling <laughs> to me. This game is literally at the I finish for either team. I am team yesterday. <laughs> Bring back La Marina. <laughs> <laughs> Remember we were in Dykeman for two seconds? <laughs> I'm honestly surprised one of the, the, the fans from Luperon didn't have a drum in the crowd. Yeah, man. Probably couldn't get it through security. Probably had to leave it outside. Especially with them coming out with the win, I thought they were going to party all night. We weren't going to get them out of here. Oh, they definitely party all night, just not here. <laughs> I didn't think they would be able to get them out of here. Three minutes to go till we crown a 3A boys champion. This is Lauren where Tech Jets down five. This is where you dig deep. This is where season... All comes together. Who wants it more? we we'll bond out. Cross court to Lagore. Drive. And he's fouled. And, I and you know what? That, that sucks for um, Whitehead because he had the right idea. What happened? What what did he do? He set his feet to his feet. He got there late. Yeah. And sack. Defensive rotations. We all the time. And we are now 500 plus viewers, as they used to say on WBLS back in the day. Tell a friend to friend, <laughs> share the live, share the broadcast. Everybody tuning in, tightly contest the matchup with just a. New York missing that first one. All count right now, Greg. New York gotta hit that free throw right there. You know, offense for defense substitution for coach. A time where every possession matters. Stop feels heavier. You're going with your best unit and it knocks down a second free throw. A little under three. Murray crosses the timeline. Up his dribble. Gets the McCammon. It's going to stay the same way. Murray's going to inbound right in front of the Jets bench. Gets the snipes. And the corner to McCammon for three. Rebound. Scott gets to Lagore. Lagore in the front court. To Lewis. Spins. Beautiful move right there from Joshua Lewis. Are you kidding me? A half spin in traffic to free himself up for the layup. Jaguars lead by eight. Arthur's foul. He's going to go to the line shooting two. Strong move. That's, the, that's what I need. Siani Arthur to do for the Brooklyn Law Tech Jets. The jumpers haven't been falling. Get yourself to the foul line. Regroup. He's missing a shoe right there. <laughs> Went out so out of fast, his shoes. He jumped out of his shoe. <laughs> but that's what you want from your, your star player. Getting himself to the line. Regroup. Find the form. Hopefully the next shot he gets, he can, he can knock down. He's struggled this half from the three-point line. Siani looking to cut into this deficit. Misses the first. Siani Arthur missing a huge, huge, huge free throws right there. He's got a chance for another one, but he's got to be upset about that one.
splits a pair at the line. Lewis looking for somebody to come to the ball. Gets it back. Almost stolen. Got to be very careful there. These are some dangerous passes that Epic South is playing with. Yeah, very and that's going to be two shots as Scott is going to go to the line. And the Jets have put the Jaguars in the bonus. Couple Jets players that just a fraction of a second late to these passes. Dangerous, dangerous passes from Epic South, but they find a way to get it to Scott, who then gets himself to the foul line. And the other key that I, I meant I didn't mention earlier is Epic South's ability to get back on defense to try to prevent Lawn Tech from getting out and running and gunning. Effort. You know, you have to have that championship effort. It's the only way to get the job done completely. Woo. Scott looking to increase the lead, and he does. Arthur guarded by Scott at half court. Epic South running like a half court press right here. Gets it to do high post in the corner. Snipes for three. Rims in and out. Rebound more. Gets it to Scott. Picks up his dribble. To Lewis. Crosses half court. To Scott. And that was. Man. Oh, Goodle who missed. And who else but Jael Moore there to clean up the mess? Joshua Lewis. We oh. talked about it. You know what? It's the 22 and 23. Yeah, it's it's just, just they're about the same height. But Once they, I see the two, I'm like, I thought that was a two, but it was a three. But again. They're also employed in the same company, hard work. <laughs> as they're always under there for rebounds <laughs> and second chance opportunities. Lewis back at the line. And what I will say for the Jets, you know, they've gotten the looks. You know, they've gotten the looks to be able to trim this lead, and they have not been able to produce. That's a hundred your hundred percent. So correct. many missed free throws. As well, and during the end of the stretch of this game, Greg, I'm 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 shocked that no one's been taking advantage of this free throw line. Er, early on in the fourth quarter, the Jets had like three or four real good looks at three that weren't able to go down the way they did in the first quarter. Absolutely, and that's why you work hard and, and get yourself to the line because when all else fails, Epic South gets on the floor. As they, when all else fails, you're able to still produce. And Epic South kind of seems like they knew that. Still time in this game, but possession. the Jets are running out of time to make this game close. Just under 90 seconds to go, folks. Can the Lawn Tech Jets reignite that high-powered offense? They run like, I would call it like a... a 20, uh, a 2024 Porsche. <laughs> Scott with the floater. Can't Josh. rebound Lewis. Take it away from him by White. Arthur to Murray for three. Off the side rim. That's going to be. Oh, wow. They're going to get Siani on a forearm. Ball foul. Wow. Huge call. I don't, I don't know if I agree with that, Shaq. I don't either. I don't know if I agree with that either. I think uh, Scott did a little acting job. I mean, we do know some players uh, in the PSL are partially employed by FIFA. <laughs> don't worry. That's, that, also, that's a joke. They are not <laughs> actually employed by FIFA. <laughs> we don't need any more. Uh, but nonetheless. Arthur explaining himself to the ref right there. But Ogunle at the line to shoot two. Short on the free throw. Got to wonder if tired legs are at play here in this final stretch of the game. Ogunle ain't really at the line with a chance to put his team up by 10 points. Epic South, one minute away from revenging, not necessarily Jets, but revenging a championship, avenging a championship loss Absolutely. against Transit Tech last year. 
not being able to get it done last year. You notice know, this, this was the goal, super, super important this year as Yanni Arthur turns it over again for the Jets. Jets, Brooklyn Talk Law and Jets falling apart right now. Coach wants time. He spoke about body language earlier. And the body language on the court is night and day between these two teams. And the Epic South crowd now wakes up as they start to feel yeah. victory at their fingertips. But you said it. You know, the Jets feel like the, the rug was pulled out from under them. They feel like, you know, they were doing so well in that beginning of that game. And now the game has definitely changed for them. And they, not, they weren't able to find another source. You know, the Epic South Jaguars, they didn't hit shots in the beginning. They went to their bigs inside. And you already know where to find your PSL championship action. None other than Sage Media Solutions. Make sure you reach out on all social media platforms at Sage Media Solutions for any inquiries. Fifty-eight seconds left. Can Epic South hold on, or can the Law and Tech Jets pull off a Brooklyn City miracle? Is that, <laughs> call it that? I don't know. Maybe I'm reaching there. <laughs> Jets are gonna have to play mistake-free basketball. It's stolen. As Diallo gets it, timeout Jet. Nice quick bucket right there for the Jets. The Jaguars coach is irate. I don't even think time came off the clock. That can't be right. <laughs> now, it was 10 seconds off the clock. Nah, I, I give it maybe four or five. We'll see what 58. they say. 58. The Jets last. The thing I have to test last time out. So. And that's big. I don't know if that was a good. So just to know. Siani Arthur not on the floor right now. There is. Keyshawn Mark. Or Kyle. Or Kyle Du. The three main shooters. Must be. It's got a defense thing right here. That's just just want to point that out, and you got to hope for a dead ball. Absolutely. And he's fouled. Yeah. The Jaguars, you know, case of, classic case of it's not how you start, it's how you finish. You know. Epic Jaguars looked like they were going to be out of this game early. Then they found a way to, to turn this game around through, through the player Daniel Ogulier, the major catalyst, Diola Gore. And the Jets, the Jets look defeated right now. They were not ready for the switch that the Epic South Jaguars flipped. And barring any setbacks, Epic South Jaguars are going to be our 3A city champions. And you see it already, Epic South already has two guys back, not allowing, not wanting to allow the Jets to get an easy bucket. As Ogunle showing off the ice water in his veins, hitting two clutch free throws. Almost another steal. Players getting chippy. Diallo trying to keep his head right there. It's going to be the third team foul for the Jaguars. Side out. That's Rondell Hill checking in for the first time for the Jets. Number 20. And Epic South comes away Turn to Turnover for the Jets. Shot clock turned off. Oh, Agunle. Driving. 
At also number 12, Christopher Carter in for the Jets. It's going to be the Jets' ball. The Jets' body language. They seem to me they gave up a little bit on this game. McCammon. And they sent three at him. And he gets it in the corner to LeBron. Swarming defense to the end. I love it from the Jaguars. Beautiful move right there by McCammon. Definitely a foul right Seven there. Seven seconds left. Eight-point game. And Epic South is going to avenge their championship loss for Brown against Transnet last year to become your 2024 Boys 3A PSAL champions with a victory over the Lawn Tech Jets 60-52. Wow. What a comeback effort from the Epic South Jaguars. I mean, that was a real testament of resilience from, from that group. The Lagore started off the, the, the onslaught to get back in this game. They had help from Marquise Lloyd. They had help from Daniel Ogunlier. Huge, huge boost from Devontae Ward. Bo big boost from Jail Moore. So many players taking a share this win. And, you, and it feels better when you get your team. Absolutely. And you can't forget about the junkyard dog. Joshua Absolutely. Joshua Lewis. Joshua as well. I, how could I forget? And after an intense weekend of championship basketball brought to you by Sage Media Solutions, you are more than going to stay tuned to watch these young men get their flowers. A great effort by the Law Attack Jets. Absolutely. You know, I'm sure we'll be back very well run, Graham, there. Very, very soon. That is going to do it for us here. Make sure you stay tuned for the award ceremony. For my partner, Shaq Mitchell, this is the Voice of State Media, Greg Polius. We appreciate you all for tuning in, and we will see you next time.